What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and apologies I did upload this video but there was no sound with it, some sort of issue when I was rendering out the video. So hopefully this one is fine, my throat is a little bit sore but we will get into the training guide with Pirlo. Now as I said right before where the video didn't come out, I think Pirlo is probably, I think he's probably the best centre midfielder that they've ever released lads <laughs> and when you take a look at his stats right we'll have three different versions of him, the first two versions of him it's kind of like the Goldilocks, Goldilocks training guide, lads. You're going to have one that's, I think, too defensive. The other is going to be too attacking. And then you've got the one at the end that's just going to be right. Because he does go to a 96 overall as a DMF. Don't worry about what his card says. Because you will be able to get the player up to a 100 centre midfielder uh, when he's rated that way, right? Now, we do have a couple of little things here. Um, that we want to focus on. Notably, Most notably is the player skills, right? So because he is down as a DMF... You are going to be able to get him up, as I said, to that 96 overall. But look at the player skills that you have here that are perfectly suited for a CMF. So I think the perfect role for Pirlo is to actually have a DMF and then a box-to-box -box center midfielder and then another center midfielder, which is going to be Pirlo, which is acting as your kind of attacking midfielder in everything but name, right? So you've got your double touch, you've one touch pass, you've weighted pass, no look pass, and low lofted. You also have soul control, you also have true passing, you also have penalty specialists, which we'll be able to upgrade a little bit as well. I mean, he's just an insane card. I think they are now releasing in-game level cards. So if you do spin Pirlo, lads, I think he's probably one of the most like difficult players to train up because it depends a lot on how you play, right? You've got a lot of possession-based players that will want to train him, um super you know like super good on the ball so we are going to go over to eFootball DB and show you the three different versions of it now i think this card here this pirlo build here is a 94 dmf he's 94 overall which will say oh 94 he's the best version of him right but we've just pretty much maxed out his defense and when you go to 18 levels on the defense you're still only going to get like fairly average defensive stats for a dmf right if you take the likes of casemiro fabinho marquinhos any of those guys that can play dmf Yes, Pirlo, this Pirlo version does have even his base low pass and his speed and everything is going to be insane. And he does go to a 97 overall as a CMF. But this is probably the worst version of him. And I think you're doing this card a massive disservice if you're training him up specifically to get a high overall on his DMF card, right? I don't think you should train him as a DMF. I think you should be training him as a CMF as your main ball player bringing the ball forward. Kind of like how you train Pedri. Kind of like how you'd have Frank Lampard, that role that he's going to be able to shoot, pass, move, and be able to just be an absolute beast, taking the ball from centre and midfield when he collects it, and then obviously going forward. You don't need too much defence on this card. I think if you're trying to make Pirlo a defensive midfielder, you, you, you just are, as I said, you're doing a disservice to him because you can just buy a player that has got really good defensive stats with blocker and interception. I mean, Pirlo has no, right? He does have good ball control, dribbling and all that, but he has no defensive capabilities. Even if you give him to him as player skills, it's just a roundabout way of making him into a player that he's not. You know, Pirlo's all about kind of like deft touches and control and bringing the ball forward, really good balance. Now, the second version of him we have is kind of like the Iniesta type build. This is kind of an overkill on ball control, dribbling type possession, low pass, lofted pass, and of course, you can see the finish in there as well, which we've maxed out. And now we have still put the five on defending, which is fine um, because we want him to be a little bit, you know, defensive uh, in midfield. Not defensive, but just kind of more defensively aware, right? But look at the dribbling stats. Look at the passing stats. You've got 98 lofted pass. You've got 98 free kicks or place kicking. And then on top of that, you've got 93 stamina, 94 ball control. Like this is just an insane Iniesta in his prime type of player now the one issue with this card in my opinion is the fact that he doesn't have speed or acceleration you don't really need speed right i get this a lot especially when i'm live streaming and i will be live streaming later on today i get this a lot with the speed and the acceleration where people are like oh he's too slow or else oh you put too much points into acceleration i'm going to show you the ultimate version of him here in a second but yeah this card i think again is 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 kind of as I said with the goalie locks thing, the first card is too cold, this, guy, this card is too hot in my opinion, right? There isn't a balance there between his, you know, defense, his capabilities to be able to get the ball moving when he's on the ball and be able to track down the ball and run with the ball. That's a big thing in eFootball. You need to have a variety. When you get these special players, lads, right? Especially if you're new or you're starting out the game, you've only been playing a couple of months. 
you need to be able to be the complete player with the cards, right? There is no real difference, in my opinion, between a player that has got like 92 low pass and 96 low pass, which is why we have gone for this build, um, which is going to be our last build of him, which is here, right? So we'll show you here in a second. But if you just take a look and take a mental note of these uh, skills at the moment, this guy is only a 92 overall DMF. Now, this 93 rated version of him, I think, is the ultimate. He goes to 101 overall as a CMF. He's not going to show up as a 101 overall because his card is locked as a DMF. That is his register position on the card. So don't worry about that. A few people will ask about that as well. But look at this guy's stats, right? I think this is the perfect, just right card for Pirlo because he is hard to play with. He is a hard player to build. And as a play style with the orchestrator, with the player skills that he has, you do want a little bit of acceleration. But more importantly, you want offensive awareness with this card and you want balance. That's a big thing with this card, right? Because he is an orchestrator, he's not going to behave the same way as you would usually behave uh, or a player with whole player would behave or a box to box or anything like that or a classic number 10. So that's why I think, you know, you have enough in the passing at 92, loft the pass at 95, and then, of course, the rest of the stats that we're looking at, the dribbling. Dribbling at 88 is more than enough. You are not going to be taking players on like Neymar or Vinicius Jr. on the wing. It's more about just being comfortable on the ball, and that is going to be aided by the balance, which is at 94, which is a huge stat as well to have in this card. On top of that, you've got 93 tight possession, 92 ball control, 94 on free kicks, 80 finishing, and then you've got 84 acceleration and 86 kicking power. So again, if you do not shoot a lot, if you do not bring the ball forward a lot, there are better players out there than Pirlo. And there is even different versions of him that you can train up, like the 92 rated version of him that we had there. But I do think that if you do get him and you want to train him up to be the most complete player and to kind of future-proof the card when they do make a couple of changes to the updates and the, the gameplay and stuff like that, I do think that this version of him is the best because of the player skills he has, right? And you can give him five additional skills. You don't really need to do anything with this card if you're just looking to absolutely dominate, right? Now, you can mess around, obviously, with the offensive awareness and the defensive awareness. You could go 75 and 75 if you want a very kind of central player. But for me, personally, I would probably keep that dexterity at 11 instead of putting the dribbling up anymore. Dribbling at 90... If you wanted to turn him into like an outright kind of attacking midfielder, like think of Pedri, think of Paul Scholes, somebody like that, that is just going to get forward with the ball, then you can either pump those stats and take him off uh, dexterity to pump him into passing or dribbling. But I genuinely do think that the dexterity is a very important stat, not for the acceleration so much once the acceleration is over 80, but more importantly for the actual balance because you want to be able to have those tight control if you take a player in training mode, such as Pedri, and you compare him with Sergio Busquets, even though they've got similar, you know, tight possession, or they might have similar dribbling skills in terms of how they handle and stats and stuff, um, I don't mean that they're going to be like, or passing stats, sorry, lads. if they've got similar passing stats, there is a difference when you have good balance and acceleration on a player that's able to move with the ball. It's the touch and goes and you're gone. So that is a big thing to have in your arsenal as well. So that is it, lads. There's three versions of Pirlo there. You can pause the video at any time. And uh, yeah, we will be back with a live stream later. I think this is the best version of him here that's up on screen. So you have three into shooting, seven into passing, eight into dribbling, 11 to dexterity, eight into lower body, and five into defending. And as I said, you can make a little alteration to this if you want. You know, you could add a few more to defending if you want him to be a little bit more defensive if you're playing a 4-3-3. But yeah, he is an absolute monster. That's an absolute beast. One of the best players that they have released. And up next, we will have Maldini. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the live stream.